So welcome to this uh, part 2 for the quick start of uh, version 8 in Via Vipro. And um, we solved, uh, in the meantime, um, we solved this um, situation where the piping optimization did not correct the um, slope of that pipe or that uh, make it vertical. So this has now uh, been solved in this sense that as long as the uh, offset from vertical or horizontal is not too big, the program will correct it when it becomes too big. Okay, you might want to have an oblique uh, line there and we will not correct rather than doing something wrong. Additionally, you see that the confusing situation when putting pipes in a shaft uh, were solved as well. If we go in, we go into the left. If we go out, we go out to the right. Uh, remember, you can edit um, a shaft to see what is going on into that shaft. So indeed, now we will have the piping of the ground floor uh, going into the shaft and that will lead going to uh, the outer unit out one. Okay, so that is quite interesting information. Uh, if we go to the upper part of that uh, same exercise again, it is clear that we are on the ground floor here and you see the piping of the ground floor go in the shaft. If I go to the first level, I see the same situation there where I copied in fact the uh, ground floor on that first level and also the piping of that first level go into the shaft. But now you know, uh, we want to link the ground floor with the first floor. You know that for drawing purposes we do that outside the shaft, but how do we do it now? Well, simply we first insert the point. We have seen that in the previous video, we insert the point here. And now what I can do is to draw a pipe coming out of the shaft. I make an intermediate stop and I go to that point there and you see that now uh, we come from joint zero from the ground floor and we will link this uh, on to that uh, pipe from the joint one. Here it is. So no drawing issues whatsoever anymore uh, for simplicity or uh, I take the habit of course of every time renew, renaming joint. So this becomes oops, JNT zero underscore one. Okay. Yeah, I lost my mouse. Good, this is joint JNT01. And now I can go to the roof. I can simply take the pipe outside of the shaft and I'm coming from the shaft, coming to my outer unit. And of course, this piping is now coming from the common joint that links the zero and the one. And I confirm, okay. So here the whole uh, piping has been uh, set for that system. So I have uh, added a new project and in that project I have drawn uh, a ground, a basement rather. And uh, what I want to show now in this uh, part of the exercise is how to link shafts. Because now on the ground floor, on the basement rather, I did my load calculation. I did install an indoor unit. Uh, I want to install now a shaft on that basement floor. So this is my icon. I put an icon there. It is indeed a new shaft, a new shaft that I call basement. Okay. And here it is. So, of course, I want to edit this. It's too bulky like this. Let me uh, resize it to 0 0.3 by 0 0.3. A small shaft for that copper piping. So, what I want to do now is to link uh, the piping from my indoor unit to my shaft. Okay. Good. On the ground floor, this is my shaft 1, my shaft that existed already. So what I want to do now is to create also a shaft on this uh, ground floor. Uh, uh, to continue actually the shaft or to draw the shaft rather that started from the basement. Is it a new one? No. It is the basement. Uh, and by indicating this one here you see that the size of the shaft changed to the dimensions that I uh, said before. Of course, what I have to do first eh, is to uh, select that uh, shaft and align it with the previous floor. Okay, that is the position for this shaft. Good. What I can do now, edit this shaft by double-clicking it. 
And here I see this is my shaft basement with its dimensions. It is coming from indoor unit 31 that is in the shaft basement. And now the beauty, I want to transfer all the pipes that are in this shaft to what shaft? Well, shaft 1. This is the shaft here on the left that already existed and that I want to link to shaft 1. Good, then I could have a straight line, but then this will be a, a line that will go oblique over everything. This is not what I want. So I want to go up and down first and then left and right. So I select this option here now and you see that this gives me a dotted line where I link all of the pipes that are in this shaft to the shaft um, 1. Now, if you want, I can edit the shaft 1 and here you see what information I'm getting there. The floor basement, the indoor 31, uh, went into shaft basement and then the ground floor from joint 0 get, got into the shaft as well and the floor 1 um, from uh, joint 0, 1 uh, where I linked the two, pipe, the two floors in the previous exercise goes to the outer unit. So uh, all of this is in that shaft, eh? all these three pipes are in that shaft and the linking, the horizontal linking of two shafts eh? is represented by this dotted line. The story continues because I linked both shafts but in that shaft there is still the piping coming from indoor unit 1. So what I can do is to, uh, to insert the point here on this main piping uh, and then to link my piping coming from indoor unit 31 eh, to um, that uh, main piping over here. So indeed coming from indoor unit 31 and I simply insert the joint there. Eh. So now indoor 31 of the basement joins the main piping coming from um, the, the ground floor and by the way I can rename that joint. Uh, that joint will be joint J N D minus one zero. Okay. Voila. And we'll continue by showing how we uh, can now in uh, version eight draw a uh, low terrace wall on um, the terraces that we have over here. So this was not possible before. We just showed the uh, terrace, but no walls. So how to do that? Well, we have this floor plan on level one. And you see this um, area, unconditioned area, has the function open air patio. And the uh, walls around it, the three walls, uh, have simply the construction um, air partition. Now, what I can do now is say that, hey, these walls, these three walls, they have two horizontal layers. Yeah? Um, and one layer would be to a height of 1.2 meter. Um, would be a, a construction indoor wall 1, just to see a different construction from the outside. Uh, 1.2 meter, and then the other uh, height above that 1.2 meter would still be air partition. Of course, to the other side we have outside condition. If I confirm this here now, uh, we have um, this, and in perspective, building perspective, this gives me this uh, terrace. Now, back to our standard exercise. And in the standard exercise, uh, what I want to do now is to have an all glass wall in front of this wall here. Now, this was hard to draw uh, on the previous exercise, on the previous version rather. Uh, in version 8, uh, we have created an outer glass curtain to put on the walls. Now, how do we do that? Well, let's go to that ground floor first and uh, do a multiple select, for instance, of these walls here at the bottom. Okay, uh, I can edit this by right clicking on one of them and uh, go to uh, edit multiple selection. And now you see we can tick has a glass curtain, a glass wall all in front of it from top to bottom. We specify the glass curtain and here we can say okay it is a thick glass wall. Now that thick glass wall has to it the other side has um, the outside condition. Okay. 
When I have done uh, this, my perspective drawing looks like this. Yeah? So I have a full glass wall uh, on this ground floor. This full glass wall has some properties. Okay, the other side of the glass wall has outside conditions. The glass wall is placed about 5 cm uh, in front uh, of this uh, outer wall and the uh, space in between the glass and the wall is vented. Uh, this glass um, will make us benefit from the solar transmittance, the G-factor. Uh, we see that if we edit uh, the uh, glass curtain, the thick glass wall, if we edit this, well, we don't need to edit, we see here that the solar transmittance, the G-factor, is 70%. That 70%, uh, that will be uh, the amount of solar radiation that goes through the glass. Uh, so 30% has been reflected and will not hit uh, our wall, uh, will not hit our wall and our glazing. Again, that glazing will again have its own um, uh, properties uh, and its own G-factor, uh, the amount of gla uh, solar radiation that still uh, hits our room. Obviously, this will have a result on the load calculation. So the load calculation, we saw that without that uh, glass curtain, we had 3,523. If I make a load calculation, uh, I, this goes down to 3,498. Again, some watts that we saved and that will not uh, affect the load of the room. Um, this was uh, the glass on one single floor. I can go to um, show you what this will be. You see, when we have the three floors here, that uh, glass shield around the building will um, positively affect the amount of solar radiation that will hit the room and uh, create our load. Well, that's it uh, for now. There are many beautiful things still in the pipeline and coming shortly, but that will uh, be uh, the uh, reason to contact you again with a quick start uh, for now. Anyway, thank you very much for your attention. Bye now.